Hello to everyone. Hello to all chess friends. Uh, I'm Grandmaster Farouk Amanatov, and today, fourth day of our online Cadets and You Super Final 2021. Uh, let's today we'll check our uh, games of uh, boys under 18 and girls under 18. And first, go, uh, first game which I want to check leader of the tournament uh, Spiropolis Nicholas against Harshavardan. Spiropolis Nicholas going really very great. Six out six. It's a phenomenal uh, result. So it will be interesting to check how he's playing and maybe even I will learn something from his games. Uh, no moves yet. Okay, yes, I see now. And Harshavardan is white. He pushed his pawn on e4. e4, e5. Uh, Spiropolis Nicholas playing absolutely correct and <laughs> he playing uh, very solid. Uh, he have a he have a choice and when you going like six out six it's really very uh great result and your confidence in your game so it's really very very nice uh let's check uh e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 bishop b5 and uh, g6 wow i thought that he will play very solid he will play uh, some rue lobes or maybe mainline or maybe berlin but he decided to play g6 very interesting decision. D4, Harshavardan played. Uh, he takes D4, Bishop G5, Bishop E7, capture, capture, castles, and he played Queen C5. Very interesting. Not Knight F6, not uh, some 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 developed move, and he played Queen C5. Very interesting decision. Honestly, I saw some games with Knight F6 as I remember, but not with Queen C5. Even Queen C5 is a surprise for myself also. Even uh, also myself will think in this moment. Uh, so what to do after Queen C5? And uh, Nicholas played really very fast this move. So I think I think uh, he have a knowledge here, maybe or maybe he analyzed this line. So it looks really very interesting. So Bishop is hanging, and White need to decide what to do. So looks uh, looks really very logical to take on c6 like this. Bishop takes c6. For example, if Queen takes c6, then we can capture by Queen Queen d4, and Rook is hanging on a chain. Uh, looks really very well for 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 for, for White. So I guess I guess that after bishop c6, black will take by d pawn to open the light square bishop, and after queen d4, something like this. So maybe Nicholas are trying to have position like this. So slightly better for white, but nothing special. Um, maybe I don't know honestly what uh, will do Harshavardan. Let's check and Harshavardan, very good, very good. So he decided to push his pawn on c4. No any end games. He want to play middle game, even even if he's pawned down. Very nice. C4 idea of this move if black will take on c3 or person for example knight takes c3 and white developing his pieces very well and after that maybe knight d5 rook c1 is coming okay very interesting decision harshavardan thought something like uh, something like one minute and he finds so nice move c4 in my mind even not came move like this but looks really very nice and now it's time to think for 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 nicolas uh before he played really very really fast and uh, maybe he knew all these moves but now c4 it's a bit surprised for himself i think and now he trying he trying he trying to search something in this position okay so before he's thinking let's uh, let's check some other games on the second uh place going russian uh makoviev if uh, Nicholas six out six, uh, Makovi Filia are uh, four and a half out six. So he going on a clear second place. Let's check his games against uh, his game against Lianach uh, Ranindu. So Ilya was white and he, he's white and he pushed his pawn on c4, c4, e6, c3, d5. 
e3, knight f6, knight f3, b6, b3, bishop b7, bishop b2, and g6. So double fianchetto, maybe g3 and bishop g2, we, we can play also. <laughs> but 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 uh, right now, Ilya is thinking. So he's trying to decide uh, how to set up his pieces. Maybe bishop e2 castles, maybe d4 and bishop d3. Maybe even takes d5 and make bishop b5 check. So he have a choice. He is thinking right now. And uh, he spent already four minutes. Oh, so maybe uh, till G6, he played really, very really fast. But now after G6, he starts to sort. Okay. And uh, he's thinking now. So I'm trying to understand about what he's thinking right now. So I know that he's trying to, um, to, to, to develop his pieces well and searching some best setup. Oh. Uh, what can I recommend? What can I recommend to him? So maybe should be two castles, d4, something like this. It's solid, solid way, solid way. Mm, tough to say, really. Very tough to say. Okay. <laughs> Before I'm trying to understand position, he took on d5. So c takes d5, e takes d5, Lianage, and now. So if we played c takes d5, maybe he planning to make a check on b5 to provoke some 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 weaknesses, maybe c6 or something like this. As a way, I don't I don't see any other reason to play like this. Okay, let's wait. And sword board uh, game between Kalichava Akake against Ilyasli Ugur. And uh, and I like this position, position with other sides castles, and uh, but pawn on b3 and white took on b3 by c pawn. Okay, looks very interesting. Let's quickly uh, check this game. How was it uh, from the first moves? E4, c5, knight f3, knight c6, takes takes knight f6, knight c3, g6. Okay, very interesting. So bishop e3. Bishop g7, bishop c4 castles, bishop b3, it's still theory, d6, f3, and knight a5. Okay, queen d2, knight takes b3, and Kalichawa Akaki in this moment took by c pawn. Wow. Wow. d5, e5, knight d7, f4, e6, and simply long castle. Okay, queen e7, king b1, it's a necessarily move, of course, king on the open file, so we need to <laughs> to save him slightly. Uh, f6, capture, capture, and right now, this is a critical position, and I think Kalichawa Akaki knows this position. For him, it's a not new, because I see only that he increased time in this position, I mean, till this moment, so he, he have... Uh, extra one minute okay and what he did now and he played simply knight f3 knight f3 and even he did it very fast so what's the idea idea to bring a bishop on d4 of course and if it's uh, will be possible to trade the dark score bishop of black yeah looks really very nice position uh leonage played knight g4 and even not sure honestly in this move anyway white planning to play bishop d4 what's the reason to help them to play like this mm, not sure not sure and knight g4 honestly so after bishop d4 and akaki will play for sure this move what's a uh, black idea what's black idea bishop h6 but it looks really very strange no Bishop h6, I can play simply g3. What? No, any e5. e5 cannot walk here. d5 is hanging. So I don't understand what is the reason to play knight g4. Hmm. Looks really very well for white. Yeah, I think... I think really very, white is really very well here. So weakness is in... Uh, weak, at least e6... 
a light square bishop really very passive knight on g4 always will be hanging after h3 or queen e2 no i think white is really very well here so akaki is still thinking let's check on nicolas game after c4 after c4 uh he played knight ge7 okay uh Harshavardhan played knight bd2 and castle simply and now white can win d4 pawn very easily after knight b3 and take on d4 so i think after the opening uh Harshavardhan getting really very good position with the space and with equal material hmm, looks really very well his position so i prefer to play knight b3 for example queen no idea where queen h5 probably right and okay i can take on d4 simply knight fd4 knight bd4 both moves looks fine or i can take on c6 first even knight c6 if he will take then i can take knight fd4 i have a space yes of course he can trade the queens but anyway white position will be fine anyway white position will be fine so i'm planning to push my pawn on c5 knight b5 is a threat and no time for black to develop his pieces easily for example if d6 then knight b5 is coming and the uh, pawn on c7 will be unsafe hmm. looks really very well for Harshavardhan. so and it's also <laughs> a good news because only one leader six out six and maybe maybe after this game it will be some some interesting situation but okay let's let's check and um, and no move yet Harshavardhan is thinking now Mm, and I'm trying to understand about what he's thinking now. <laughs> Why not immediately knight b3 and take on d4, Harshavardhan? Why are you spending time? Yes, of course, you have a time, so it's up to you, of course. But but to me, looks really very strange. Okay, let's check our ladies, girls under 18. Uh, very interesting also going uh, tournament because... because uh, let me check please because i i forgot honestly in my opinion um, uh, go hard beidula you are going on the first place but let me check please uh give me one second yes she's going on a first place four and a half points out six and two uh players batch and ismail malak going on the second place three and a half points they have so let's we'll check uh leader of this category Beidulaeva Gohar she's playing by black color against Singih Diajank so this position right now on a board but okay just let's check first first uh first moves we will see e4 c5 knight f3 d6 and Singih played c3 knight f6 bishop d3 bishop g4 so with some theory still d3 d5 d5 Beidulaeva Gohar playing aggressive d5 now queen e2 and she played e6 so transposing in some kind of uh french french type of positions castles queen c7 bishop g5 black took on e4 takes takes bishop e7 and right now position is like this knight b d2 last white move and uh, black is sinking so She's thinking what to do now, to make a long castle or short castle, I think. Short castle may be a bit risky because bishop on c2 will be really very active. For example, if black will make short castle after e5, or we can uh, gain some tempo like h3, bishop h5, and now we can push pawn on e5. So bishop is really very strong. So maybe maybe it's too risky for black to make short castle. And of course I was right. <laughs> Not very often I'm right, but in this position I was right. So she made long castle. Uh Gohar is very confident in her position. So she made castle in the long side. Mm. <laughs> uh, really very really tough to say what uh what is correct or not um, but okay let's see she's leader so maybe she's 
she's trying she's trying to play very aggressive against uh singi singi is sinking right now and what we can recommend for white in this position how to play e5 immediately or again to gain a tempo like h3 mm, let's see let's see and uh, yeah she made already her move and she played knight c4 knight c4 i'm not sure i'm not sure in knight c4 at least she can get a tempo no gain a tempo like h3 and after that she can think or she can play a knight c4 but why now now a bit risky looks for myself knight on c4 because knight will be will be pin and it's really very unpleasant pin in my opinion okay okay but of course it's absolutely normal position i'm not saying that black is better or something no it's absolutely playable position but knight c4 in my opinion a bit early a bit early to play like this but okay uh batch against ismail malak two girls uh who are going on the second place and they playing between themselves so this position right now on a board uh last white move was bishop takes c3 bishop takes c3 and now this position so black can take pawn on c4 but after long castle i think uh, white or uh, getting really very good position pair of bishops yes right now uh black is pawn up but pawn on c4 will be will be hanging always and maybe white will win this uh, this pawn very easily so looks really very well position for white for example if black will make some simple move i don't know something like d6 for example then we can play knight g3 Pawn is hanging on c4. If black will try to save it after crook e1, game is over <laughs> immediately. King on e8. So if uh, black will make short castle, so we can take on c4. Rook going on e1. After that, knight f5 looks really very, very risky position for black. So instead of b takes c4, maybe black can try to play b4, attacking dark square bishop bishop d2 okay not so confident about bishop d2 so probably white will take on these uh, on f6 or he will push or she oh wait 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 i find some idea d6 can we push d6 and if black will take on d6 we can take on f6 queen f6 queen e4 is coming and the white winning a rook on a8 um uh, looks looks maybe not so bad but b2 pawn is also hanging oh it's really very complex for example king d8 or king f8 i don't know somewhere king d8 probably because okay just we keep square for our rook uh take and why i can take on b2 rook is also hanging uh rook b1 uh, rook d1 sorry Oh, I thought I can play knight c6, but knight c6 is not possible because queen c6 is coming. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, maybe it's fine for white. Maybe it's fine for white. <laughs> yeah, looks, looks, looks well for white. Maybe instead of, instead of queen takes b2, we can play knight c6 with some idea to trap queen on a8. Long castle, probably. I thought queen c7. Next, my move will be rook d8. And after that, bishop b7. Yes, of course, uh, white will take my rook. Um, not so confident myself. Not so confident, not so confident. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, no, g3 is coming g3 rook d8 and white can play knight f4 with a simple idea to 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 play knight d5 double attack no 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 not sure not sure not sure so let's check uh how batch played oh sorry um ismail malak played oh uh, no no move still she's thinking and right now this position and she's spending a lot of time now only she have only 13 minutes Okay, okay, okay. Really very important moment for her. She's trying to decide what to do. 
She's trying to decide what to do now. Okay. And third game, Isadze Tamari against Dongwani Nia. Uh, bo both girls from uh, Georgia, they playing. Uh, so last Wow, last white move was knight e4. Position was like this, and the white played knight e4. Very nice move. I like it. <laughs> We're occupying by a knight central square and making threats. It must be always well. So, idea to take um, bishop on f6. Black cannot take on e4 because after uh, queen d7, king f8, uh, queen takes c8, a white winning material. So, exchange up. For this reason, for this reason, uh, Nia uh, Dongwani need to save her bishop. But how to play bishop e7 or or something else? Bishop g7 not so great because knight d6 is coming and white again winning exchange. Uh, so or bishop e7 or queen d8. Maybe even queen d8 looks better because always queen on uh, on the open file and always some rook b1 is coming with a temple tempting move. Um. Yeah. 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 So let's let's will wait how she will play and she played. <laughs> she took on it was simply she ignoring my words. She sacrificing her rook on c8 and maybe she getting some compensation for this check king f8 for sure it will be on a board queen c8 is only move king g7 queen is hanging and uh, and 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 queen d7. <gasps> Wait, but after queen d7, rook d8, the winning the queen. Queen is trapped there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so good, so good. Uh, uh, but honestly, white can play rook b1. Why I'm so <laughs> why I'm so happy? <laughs> rook b1 is coming. And now if black will take on b1, we have extra check, extra tempting move. King Queen h8, check, king h8, and after rook b1, game is over. It's totally winning position, rook uh, against bishop. Easily, easily winning end game. And what black can do here? The queen takes f2, of course. Uh, black can sacrifice, but I'm not sure, honestly, in this position. No, 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 no. Simply king e3, then I will take on e4, then rook's going inside, and... Uh, no, no. Position will be absolutely losing. So, uh, Nia, Nia need to find something there. Queen a7, possible, but queen takes c6. Queen c5, I guess, is only move for her. And uh, I think she will play like this. And the queen somewhere. I don't know. Queen c7, maybe. Queen c7, for me, looks, looks nice. Next my move rook d7, after that rook b7, and I will focus on f7 pawn. Yes, maybe e3, something like this. e3 takes, queen takes, king h1. And maybe h4, h3, some, 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 some contrary like this is coming. Um, but not sure, not sure, honestly. Okay, she played queen c5, and it's only move we decided. So, and now uh, Tamari, Tamari move, and she's thinking, she's trying to decide how to how to save her queen. Queen c7, queen b7, queen a6, queen d7, four moves she have. And I think she will think right now, she will spend some few minutes for her next move. Okay, let's check once again. Uh, Beidulai wa Gohar. It's very interesting game for us because, uh, because, because uh, she's the leader of the tournament. And uh, wait, how it's happened after knight c4? We stop watching here. Uh, I I said that I'm not sure in knight c4. So let's see how Gohar played. She played h6. Okay, tempting move is always good. Uh, bishop h4, and now she played knight h5, like this. Wow. Knight h5. Bishop is hanging on h4. And and now, and now, ladies and gentlemen, you can understand my, 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 my idea. When I said that h3 was possible in this moment, 
for example, h3, bishop h5, and now knight c4 was absolutely fine because now after h6, bishop h4, black cannot jump on h5. <laughs> you can understand now my idea. Uh, she played knight c4 directly, and now, of course, this idea with knight h5 looks really very strong for, 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 for black. Bishop takes e6, e7. Uh, Singi took on e7, and now, and now we can play knight f4, one extra tempo attacking queen with a check. Uh, white cannot take on d8 because knight e2 check coming. So for sure she will play something like queen e3, and now we can take on e7. So it looks absolutely normal for 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 black. At least uh, black improved his position. Knight came on a four looks 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 not so bad right for me at least looks really very well okay she's thinking oh no she made already move she took on e7 directly she took on e7 directly but why why not knight f4 it was some kind of our necessarily move no because knight on h5 staying not so great. Oh, maybe maybe I got uh, I got her idea. Maybe she planning to play queen f4. For example, if white will make any move, I don't know something like a4, for example, right? And black can play queen f4 with idea to take on f3 and make weak uh, white king or at least some weaknesses in uh, white position. Okay, very smart, very smart. Let's see how um, Singh will play in this position. So, of course, she can prevent it simply. e5 or queen e3, she can play. Uh, and I think now uh, she's thinking about these uh, moves. But okay, before she's thinking, let's we'll check our gentlemen and uh, especially Nicholas' game. So, Nicholas, 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 how it's happened? So Ahrshavardan finally played knight b3, and I thought that it's good move. Uh, Nicholas played knight h, queen h5, and now he pushed c5. He pushed his pawn on c5, but why? Why? Tell me why. Hmm, interesting. Okay, d5 was in the game. Take, take. Knight takes d4 and queen e5. Okay. Okay, okay. Queen e5. Queen e5. Yes, of course, it's a rule. When you have a weak pawn in your position or weak pawns, of course, you're trying to play middle game. You're trying to keep queens on a board. Okay, I know it. Mm, but queen e5, why not queen g5? Queen g5, maybe he was a bit worried about f4. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Or maybe bishop g4, maybe to pro uh, provoke provoke opponent to play f3. And after that, bishop d7. And I, and I develop my bishop. I'm keeping queens on the board still. So for me, it looks natural like this to play, because queen e5, you know, like um, queen e5 looks a bit scary for me because always f4 is coming. You know, yes, I see that pawn on d5, uh, pawn on e4 is hanging, but same time, queen on e4 staying really very risky, you know. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe even like this possible. Maybe nothing special after f4, queen takes e4. Uh, rook e1, okay, he can take at least on f4, right? Bishop c6, knight c6 is coming. Knight c6 is coming. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's nothing special. Maybe it looks maybe uh, risky, but, but, but nothing special. I can't find him in this position. Okay, so queen e5, very interesting move. And now Harshavardan is thinking. So timings, timings is uh, 12 minutes and 12 minutes. Ah, okay, both both players have a 12 minutes in this position. Okay, what about Makovia? Oh, 
wait, it's a like <laughs> very solid game. Uh, GM, GM draw, <laughs> and this position they agreed for draw. Oh, yeah, you are white. You have slightly better position. What's the reason to to accept draw? Oh, you offered. Oh, last white move was B4, and he offered draw. Mm, um, no idea why. No idea why. In my opinion, white position is slightly better. So if you if you trying to fight for first place, you must to fight. But okay, one and a half uh, points different between him and the Nicholas, and maybe he decided let's let's I will keep at least a second place. <laughs> okay, so we can't say something. So it's uh, maybe tournament strategy. But let's we'll check the game. So uh, C D five he took E D five wasn't the game. Rook C one he played Bishop G seven Bishop A three. Uh, preventing castle a6 d4 bishop f8 he took king takes bishop d3 king g7 uh castles rook e8 so looks really very well positioned for him uh queen c2 he played uh knight bd7 queen b2 oh, no 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 i don't like maneuvers like this queen c2 queen b2 in my opinion we need we need to B4 immediately. If queen b3, something like this. But queen two, queen b2 looks really very strange. Uh yes, yes. King g8, knight e2, rook c8, and b4 now. And white offered the draw. Okay, we don't know some details. Maybe I don't know, maybe Ilya not feeling well himself, and he decided okay, it's better to offer draw for his opponent. Okay, maybe, maybe. Fine. So, and third game is uh, Kalichava Akaki. Kalichava Akaki. It's already almost end game, but how so fast, really, guys? Come on. How it's happened? Uh, okay, we stop watching after knight g4. And Akaki played rook e1? Really? Akaki, come on, my friend. Come on, you need slightly improve your positional playing. Cool rook e no, 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 my friend. <laughs> Not sure. Rook e1, knight e3. You know, like, how it's... <laughs> come on. How you can trade your dark square bishop for his knight? Of course, you need to play bishop d4. No any other choice. Just trade the dark square bishop. You know, one active piece in his position is his dark square bishop. So when after after trading of this bishop, your position will be fine absolutely. And after that, you can play rook e1, g h3, g4, maybe knight e5, everything. What do you want? But not rook h e1. Rook h e1 was in the game capture, capture, queen f6. F4 pawn is hanging, G3, B5. With some idea to create some counterattack on the queen side. Knight E5, even, even this position now is fine. Queen check, King A1, Bishop takes E5. And what? Ilyas Li Ugur decided that this endgame is fine for him. Mm, not sure, but okay. B4. Okay, fixing pawn on a light square. B, uh, on the light square, it's, it looks very really correct. A5. Rook D4. Wow. Takes, takes, and Rook C4. Oops. Knight E2. Bring Knight on D4. Okay. A3, A3. Kalichava Akaki, my friend. You need to create pass pawn. What's the reason to play A3? <laughs> Why not B3? B3, uh, with idea after capture, capture, we're getting, we're getting some pass pawn on B file. And after that, you can improve your position. King B2, maybe Rook, rook E1, A3, a B, 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 B4, something like this. And slowly, slowly going forward. But A3, 
not sure not sure not sure okay so what was then uh king f6 a3 h6 of course black trying to get some counter attack h4 rook g8 knight f3 akaki trying to prevent it rook b8 knight d4 again so and king c2 and after capture 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 they got this position mm, bishop against knight end game position with <laughs> uh pawns on the both sides so black cannot must be worse here for sure never never knight f3 king f5 knight h4 not sure black pawns also running very fast no so right now this is a critical position and let's check this position so uh looks logical to push pawn on g6 right so d3 check also king d1 is losing immediately because bishop a4 check and after the rook d2 uh, sorry pawn d2 check and d d d1 new queen so it's very simple uh how 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 white can play king c3 only move i think a d2 and again king c2 is losing because bishop a4 but white can try play knight g2 check like this knight g2 check king e2 knight f4 check is coming <laughs> and okay some some something like this some they, they can repeat position king e2 king e3 maybe like this okay let's check akaki ah okay akaki is thinking and right now position is like this oh ha 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 very interesting very interesting so so g6 yeah g6 he pushed his pawn on g6 and now let's 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 think so d3 king c3 d3 king c3 and after d2 knight g2 check is coming okay so maybe nothing special maybe it's still still fine d3 king c3 okay uh they played and right now position is like this knight g2 check so uh, what about king f2 king f2 king takes d2 oh king d2 and <laughs> sorry 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 uh black cannot stop pawn I see. So king f2 is nothing. Only move then is king e2. King e2. And now g7 too much. Looks really very risky. Looks very risky because queen queen and black starting to make a checks first. Okay. So I think it's draw. Knight f4 check and game is equal after king e3 yeah i think i think it will be draw very early okay and uh, what about about this position so um harshavardan took on c6 bishop c6 even yes 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 of course b takes c6 looks maybe natural but after f4 Black cannot take pawn on e4 because after queen e4, rook f4 is uh, rook e1 is coming and black losing his knight on e7. For this reason, Nicholas simply took by knight. Knight takes c6 and now is a critical position. So pawn on e4 now is hanging. Uh pawn is hanging. So maybe rook e1 or queen 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 d3. F3 is also possible, maybe. But f3, bishop e6, and simply black planning to push his pawn on d5 to trade the weakness, weakness in his position. Yeah, it looks like black is absolutely normal in this moment. Yeah, so rook e1 he played. Yeah, right now, uh, position like this, and Nicholas is sinking. Okay, okay, okay let's check uh girls beidulaiva gohar against singir and uh wait 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 what happened knight on b5 <laughs> maybe white white can try to make something so we stop watching after knight e7 yes 
uh, and Singir pushed her pawn on e5, knight d5, check, king b8, and knight b5. She played like this. After that, queen e7, and now bishop e4. Bishop e4. So I don't see something special. So I can play knight f4, knight df4, knight hf4. Both moves look well for, for, for black. I don't see any threats from white side. Knight on b5 is not so great. Always black can play a6 and attack this knight. Not sure. I think black is fine. Black is fine. Okay, let's will make some few moves. Okay, knight hf4 looks natural. Am I right? Because knight on h5 not so great, so it looks absolutely natural. Queen where? Queen c4, queen c2. No any other normal square. So let's check queen c4. Aggressive move. Uh, queen c4. Queen c4, queen c4. a6, I think, looks normal move. Knight d6. And pawn is hanging on c5. And pawn on c5 is hanging. Yeah, maybe it's okay for well, for white. Uh, so, 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 what else? Uh, what else, what else? Maybe bishop f3, bishop f3, queen g5. Attacking pawn on e5, but... But c5 pawn will be hanging also. No, 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 no. Okay, what else? What else? What else? I don't know. Maybe knight b6. Uh, we're bringing his queen on b3. I don't know. It's giving us something special or not. But I don't see any other move. Okay, maybe I got some idea. Knight b6, queen b3, and c4 like this. And I'm simply trying to trade the queen. Without queens, okay, just a black position, absolutely fine. His pieces is much better, right? And even pawn on e5, bit weakness. Mm -hmm. I like this position. So maybe uh, after queen c4, she need to find knight b6. Let's check how is in the game. Uh, sorry. No, wait. She pushed f5 immediately. She pushed f5 immediately. So, go hard, ignoring tempting move. And I don't know why. I don't know why. So, f5. Um, Singir took on f6. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Pawn takes, pawn takes. She opened g file. Yeah, maybe it's good. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's good for black also. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What she did then? And she pushed her pawn on h3. Oof. Now pawn on h3 for me is really very scary. So knight h4 I can play. For example, queen c2, for example. And I can take, right? Take and queen g7 checkmate is coming. <laughs> so simple. <laughs> I don't know why. Why uh, Singir pushed her pawn on h3? What? Yes, yes, and go hard played knight f4 simply. Hmm. Queen c4, same, no? And leader is winning. <laughs> leader is winning in this position. Oh, I got some idea. Maybe queen c4, bishop takes h3, and I can take bishop d5. And no time to take on g2 because knight on f4 is hanging. And if black will take by knight, of course, we're capturing bishop, and okay, we'll speed up. So we will get a good position. Okay, okay, okay. Very interesting. Let's check how she played. Oh, she see.
thinking. Uh, she's thinking and trying to understand what to do. Let's check timings. Uh, six minutes, almost seven minutes of Singir and almost six minutes of Gohar. So they, okay, approximately same timing. So it's not so bad for both of them. What about Isaze Tamari against Don Juani Nia? Oh, position is like this right now. Wait, wait, how it's happened. We stop watching after Queen C5 and let's check, uh, let's check uh, how was what. Wait, after Queen C5, Tamari played Queen B7. Queen B7, Queen B7, okay. Uh, Nia pushed her pawn, takes takes, so it's absolutely natural. And h4, yes, she trying to get counter attack or counter way. So she planning to push pawn on h3, queen b3. Queen b3, queen f4, rook d7, queen d3, and e4. And what? Queen f1, she's saving pawn on f5. Her opponent played queen e5, queen e2. But, 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 but pawn is hanging, no? And Tamari took rook d1. Rook df, rook, not sure. Okay. And now this is critical moment of the game. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So, Pons is really very strong. And if Black will start to push them, it uh, will be crushing. Like F5, F4, F3. So, White needs such counterattack. Other way, like no time to spend a time, no time to, to make some waiting move or something. Directly, direct the threats. No, any other way. Maybe queen f2. I'm attacking pawn on h4. I'm attacking pawn on f7. Ah, no, g3 is coming. Sorry. g3 is coming and it's not so pleasant. But g3, queen f5. Take, take. Okay. One possibility. Uh, queen f2, something else. Something else or not? Queen e1. I'm attacking h4, attacking a5 also. Looks really very interesting. Uh, what's, what else? What can I attack? I'm searching attacking moves only. <laughs> uh, 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 rook e7 also, one more option. Oh, rook e7 I like. And if black will play f6, I can capture on e5 and winning immediately. But 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 what about bishop takes h2? Because after king h2, queen d6 check is coming. Double attack and uh, black uh, winning rook on e7. Yes, of course, not necessarily to take this uh, bishop and we can play something like queen takes e4, rook e4. Both moves looks fine for, for white. Okay, something else. Uh, after rook e7, after rook e7, maybe queen d6, but f7 is hanging. Yes, of course, of course, of course, and it's really uh, unpleasant for black. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, what else? I don't see any other possibilities for black. Yes, it's happened on a board. Wow, even <laughs> even I find correct way. Uh, sorry, rook e7, queen d6, and now this position, uh, this position. So, so we can take rook f7, right? Rook f7, rook f7, rook f7. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, looks we uh, looks really easily winning. Tamari Sadze looks really very well. And the third game, Batch Ismail, uh, they got this position, but how they got it? Uh, we saw watching after Bishop takes c3, and um, Ismail Malak thought long time in this moment, and she pushed her pawn on 
Oh, yes. She pushed before and now. Okay, come on, come on, come on, but it was really a very nice idea to push pawn on d6. D6, and only after that we capturing on F6 because after Queen E4, it will double a check on uh, King and uh, Rook A8 is hanging. For example, this, like this, like this, and check on E4. <laughs> but okay, she missed maybe these possibilities, and um, she took directly on F6, Queen F6, Knight G3. Bishop e2, knight d7, and shot castle. Okay, uh, king g8, and bishop d3. So queen h6, h e1. Okay, then what? Okay, and now uh, Bach Ngok Tsai is sinking. So, what's uh, any black idea? Black idea, knight g4, h3. Always we have so probably uh, she wants to play simply bishop d7, rook e8, something like this to equalize the position. Okay, so we need to search something. Maybe no, maybe h3, f4, something like this. Press, press, press opponent. Okay, so still she is thinking she have four minutes against one minute of uh, Ismail Malak. And okay, game still going. And let's check leader Beidulaiva Gohar. Beidulaiva Gohar. Oh no, oh no. Singi simply played queen c2 and after bishop h3, so passive knight e1. No, 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 no not sure. This position, Singi, you will lose, especially when you're playing against, against uh, uh, I don't know, uh, Gohar is top seat or not, but she's leader of the tournament. So, in my opinion, it's better by white color, so something so, but not so passive, not so passive. So, I think Gohar uh, have a really very great, great, great chances to win this game. Okay, now let's check uh, what happened in our. Uh, Yes, it was a draw. Kalichawa Akaki against Ilyas Leogur. Uh, as we said, it's like simply repetition. And uh, what about Nicholas? Nicholas against Harshavardan. Harshavardan is white. His position slightly better. And now this is on a board. Let's think uh, what to do. White to move now. Okay, no time to check from uh, from before. Now now is a, a really very interesting position. So, and also with some kind of Z note right now is going three minutes of oh sorry four minutes of Harshavardan and uh, uh, Nicholas is two minutes and Harshavardan pushed not pushed he played knight g5 knight g5 was a simple idea to take on h7 yes. Uh, Nicholas played uh, queen g7, I think. Yes, queen g7 is only move because pawn is hanging. And uh, queen h4. Queen h4, queen h4. Yeah, looks well. Looks well. Looks well. So, uh, so, 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 still weak pawn on d6. And even qu qu queen on g7, not so great. And king, black king is also not so safe. So I like white position. <clears throat> I like white position, and I don't know how to play knight c6. Maybe knight c6 somehow, somehow get some counter attack, some 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 chances. So if knight, knight c6, bishop c6, at least black improves his pieces. Pawn on b2 in some variations will be hanging. So it looks well for for black. Of course, black or white can save his knight. And he can play something like knight e2 or knight b3. But of course, at least uh black, 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 black leave uh central knight from d4. So it's also must be well. So I think knight c6 will be in the game. And uh, and yes, Nicholas. Nicholas simply following my words. <laughs> he played knight c6. Okay, let's we'll focus on this game. Uh, 50 seconds of Nicholas and uh, three and a half minutes of Harshavardan. And now his move. 
so what to do maybe oh yeah we, we, we can play knight gf3 yes going back but what to do it's okay maybe and he played and he played like this knight gf3 perfect 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 so 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 nicholas 40 seconds 41 40 39 okay okay and he's thinking right now he need to make very important decision now take on d4 or not to take or to make some other move okay maybe he can repeat and jump knight e5 again 24 seconds okay he's still thinking oh and okay <laughs> why i'm helping him <laughs> he's simply following my words <laughs> i'm joking nicholas yes 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 knight e5 uh he played and uh, 30 seconds 31 seconds so Harshawardan, can i help you can i help you can i recommend some move for you uh no idea no idea no idea Maybe rook d2 simply to make double rook on d5 and press on d6. Maybe like this. Maybe, maybe, maybe some other move. Which kind of the move? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Three minutes we have. Still, we have three minutes and we can think. We can think. We can search some normal, some good move. Maybe rook d2, rook d1, not so bad idea. Oh, rook d2, maybe knight c4 is coming and knight will attack our rook on on d2. Oh, wait, Hashavardan made a move and he played knight. Okay, even he made better, better version of my idea. He played rook e2 and no knight c4. I mean, knight c4 is possible, but no attacking our our pieces. Okay, I like it. I like Hashavardan. They're playing both of, of them, playing really very well and i like it so bishop c6 bishop c6 okay never mind uh and harshavardan played queen f4 why why queen f4 any idea of this move queen f4 i'm not sure what what's the reason to play queen f4 Okay, queen of four. Uh, Nicholas played rook d7. So, okay, and Harshavardan is thinking now. Is thinking now how to play, how to play. So, I want to press on d6 pawn. Harshavardan, try to do it. Try to do it. Uh, I don't know how, but try to do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, rook d2 maybe anyway, if we play rook d2, so it's our idea to play rook d2, and now we threatening to take on c6 and win a pawn on d6. Maybe knight c4 is coming, of course, of course, of course, and e4, d2 will be hanging. Okay, so, 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 what to do now? Maybe b3. Oh, wow, <laughs> it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Played b3, wow. So cool, so cool. He did it. Uh, pawn on b3 now. b3, he pushed his pawn. And now, now he's planning to play d2, I think. Uh, Nicholas played h6. Yes, and okay, waiting, waiting. Uh, rook d2, right? Oh, wait, why I'm so happy. Rook d2, black can take on e f3, no? Knight f3, knight f3, and pawn is uh, hanging on e4. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then what's the reason we, uh, why we played b3 then? <laughs> uh, maybe, 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 maybe some other move. Maybe knight somewhere. Knight h2, maybe like this. So I want to, 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 to make double rook on d file. I want to make double rook on d file and press on this pawn. Something like this. Okay, they made some view moves. No, sorry. Queen g3. Queen g3 he played. But why queen g3? Queen f6. And now knight e1, knight e1, knight e1. Knight e1. Oh, I got, I got his idea. F4. 
a voice coming. Hmm, <laughs> not bad, not bad. Perfect, Harshavardhan. I like, I like how he playing. He pressing, he pressing his opponent. Very nice. A voice coming, and knight suddenly will be trapped. For this reason, he played b3. For this reason, he played queen g3. Oh, very nice, very nice. I'm enjoying, <laughs> really enjoying in this game. So, uh, Nicholas played g5. Looks like the only move. And now we can jump maybe in some moment on f5. f5 square is really very weak now. So uh, f3. Okay, f3 supporting pawn on uh, e4. King h7. Knight c2. Uh, knight g6. Okay. So knight e3 I think we played automatically. And d5. D5, 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 D5. Looks really very scary. Very scary. Uh, so, can I take on D5 immediately? What's the problem with this move? Mm, if Bishop D5, so I'm winning material, right? Bishop, knight takes d5, rook d5, and I'm capturing on e8. So it's easily winning. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe knight f4, extra, extra tempo he can get. Okay, yeah, 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 sure, 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 sure. Sure, yeah, knight f4 is coming. So no reason, no reason then to take on d5. Uh, what about knight takes d5? Knight takes d5 is not so great also, because after takes, takes, uh rook e2 maybe knight e2 and queen going going somewhere maybe even queen b2 and his king is safe no not sure not sure not sure okay uh ladies and gentlemen uh they made some few moves let's let's simply will follow their game so after d5 uh wait 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 Oh, they playing really very fast. So after d5, uh, Harshavardhan played knight g4. Uh, yeah, tempting move. e5, knight f6 is coming. Also, wait, why not knight f6 check now? Oh, maybe queen f6. Pawn takes and rook takes e2 like this. It was idea, idea of Nicholas. And if we double attack. And if we not will take, rook g2 is coming. Wow, so nice. So, uh, Harshavardhan calculated and played one. Knight f6 anyway is coming. Knight f is only move. Queen f2. Rook e7. Check. Looks really, very really easily winning position for Harshavardhan. So, he can take on c6. And he took, I guess, yes, he took material. So, extra pawn. Two extra pawns, <laughs> uh, queen h7, and now uh, Harshavardhan is sinking. So two pawns up, and he need uh, accurate to win this game. And after that, okay, this will be first a losing game of uh, Nicholas. Anyway, he is leader and with uh, like really very big advance. But anyway, it will be some 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 something interesting in the tournament, you know. Like not only uh, seven out seven, and the uh, first place will be fixed <laughs> directly. So after after this game, maybe some something uh, something interesting is coming. So uh, let's check queen c4, queen g6, and uh, rook d7, rook d7. So looks easily winning position for Harshavardhan, but he must to be accurate. Only accurate, accurate moves. Uh, Nicholas played knight f4. Knight f6 is not possible because rook takes f6 and rook only one uh, will be hanging. So just play simply rook e4. Just nothing special. We're keeping our pieces on a safe squares. Knight f6 is coming. So looks absolutely fine for white. Uh, yeah, so Harshavardhan is thinking, yes, he, he have a time, so he can be accurate in this uh, position. H5, H5. Uh, black is threatening. So, and he played no, he played king h2. King h2, king h2. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what about h5 now? 
knight f6, rook f6, pawn takes, and rook takes there, no? Or maybe I'm missing something, maybe some checkmate there. Check, king h7, rook d8, queen takes f6 at least, no? Queen takes f6 at least. Oh, maybe queen c8, king h7, queen f8, maybe like this. Like, and pawn on f7 is hanging. Oh, wow. Wow, Harshavardhan, so deep, so deep. Perfect. In seconds, you find so idea. Very nice. And what about Nicholas? Uh, Nicholas. So, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's happened. Absolutely same. <laughs> Absolutely same happened in a game. So, uh, let's, uh, once again, I will show you. Uh, King H2. Nicholas. Ah, uh, no, wait. Nicholas played rook c6. Ah, uh, anyway, knight f6. Wow. So good. So good. Rook f6. Pawn takes rook e1. And now check. Perfect. Harshavardhan. Brilliant game. Brilliant. No any words. Perfect. And here, after queen f8, after last white move, queen f8, Nicholas Spiropolis resigned. Yes, position is totally losing. Rook f7 is coming and blanking. Uh, like in a checkmate situation. Yes, so good game. So good game. And even uh, leader of the tournament. Anyway, he's still leader. Six out, same, seven points. But anyway, now some <laughs> some interesting situation going in this tournament. Uh, Kuviev, Ilya, come on. Why you made the draw? If you want this game and uh, after, after Nicolas lost, uh, only half points between you and him, but okay, still, still, it's also very interesting. Let's check our uh, girls' uh, situation. So, uh, girls, Batch against Ismail Malak, and Batch uh, won her game. Perfect. Uh, what about Tamari Isadze? Oh, wait. Oh, okay, yes, after rook f7, I remember those position. So, yes, position is easily winning for white. Just she need to improve her rook only. To bring a rook on b5, win a pawn on a5, and game will be over. Yeah, I think it's easily winning position. And what about Beidulaiva? Go hard, go hard, one. Yes, yes, yes. Let's check this game. How was it? Uh, we stopped watching after bishop h3, if you remember. Yes, in this moment. So, uh, Singi played queen c2, and uh, Gohar took on h3. As I told us uh, that after gh3, queen g7 is coming. So, Singi played knight e1, and simply rook g8. Yeah, not so great. King h1, and simply even queen f7. Okay, okay, okay. Simply uh, Gohar bringing her queen on h file. Bishop f3 trying to prevent and simply bishop f5. Queen is hanging, queen c1 and e5 supporting knight. c4, knight f4. Absolutely. No reason to checkmate immediately. No reason to sacrifice material. Go hard playing absolutely correct. I love, I love her uh, playing in this position. b3, come on, b3, Singir. Come on, <laughs> you are pawned down. Position is really very bad. So, search the possibilities. Okay, maybe maybe her idea was to play queen a3, but queen a3 is not so dangerous. Maybe directly you need to make something. Maybe a3, maybe queen e3. Something like this. Just make threats immediately. But okay, b3, a6. Knight c3 and bishop g4. Queen h5 is coming. So uh, Singi played queen e3 and check. King g1 and simply knight h3. Knight h3. I prefer to take on f3, honestly. <laughs> queen f3 and simply knight e2. Just simply... Oh, sorry. I missed I missed knight on c3. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh... Okay, maybe rook g2 then. Rook g2, not missing. Knight g2, queen f3, queen f3, knight g2. Yes, g2, I prefer. <laughs> but okay, of course, uh, uh, Gohar uh, also played absolutely correct. She made a check. 
king h2, and she played knight g5, like this. Okay, king g1, and simply she took on f3, and uh, position is totally winning. So nice. Very interesting games. So let's check Isadze uh, uh, Tamari Dongguani Nia game. Oh, yeah. Position is totally losing, so next white move may be something like rook e4, and after that g4, g5, g6, g7, g8, new queen, and uh, black will resign. Yes, and I was right. She played rook e4. So king is cut. Yeah, I think Neo will resign uh, very, very soon. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So interesting, interesting, really very interesting. And I uh, just want to remind for all of uh, uh, chess friends that all details and chess um, results you can find in chess results, of course, and on our official website. So you can follow your favorite players there. And uh, okay, Itamari is thinking, let's check some running games also so uh oh wait some some moves there wait 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 what happened there one second after rook e4 oh tamari uh no nia played bishop b4 tamari took pawn king takes and uh pushed her pawn forward bishop b5 bishop c5 Okay, we can play something like rook e5, for example. Just simply attacking bishop, right? Bishop d4 not possible because the rook e4, bishop d6 if. Okay, again, again attack. Again attacking pawn, bishop. Bishop f4 again not possible because check is coming. No, it's an absolutely losing position. And now, and now position is like this and white to move. So rook f3 rook d8 is coming and it's over yeah tamari played rook d8 bishop is hanging so what to do bishop g7 or bishop h6 so bishop g7 never mind uh i will attack and uh, then i will try to push my pawn on g7 by tempting move let's say bishop h6 i will attack bishop g7 i will attack any move and then i can push my pawn on g7 yeah i think it will be over very soon but okay so she played bishop g7 rook d7 any black move i will push my pawn on g7 and it's over okay let's check some other games uh which is going now uh ha, ha, ha. uh which 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 game so uh, po, 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 po. Okay, looks very interesting position. <laughs> Dao Kuang Dui against Nguyen Kuang Min. This position on a board right now. And uh, who's moved now? Okay, black to move. <laughs> position is very interesting. Of course, knight is much, much better than bishop. But, but no way for king to go inside. For white king, I'm meaning. And maybe it's not so easy to win even if it's possible but wait the knight cannot go somewhere <laughs> it's very interesting so black to move black plate black plate simply bishop e7 okay if knight e8 with a did play knight c7 somehow improve uh, improve a knight so okay black can play simply bishop d8 right and prevent any any white idea to play knight c7 yeah, it looks easily draw. Okay, interesting position. But anyway, okay, white played king f3. Uh, okay, king d4 not possible because knight knight f5 is coming. But even not necessarily to play king d4. I can keep my bishop somewhere. Bishop d6, bishop d8 looks looks absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, so it's happened. Bishop d6. Oh no, sorry. Oh, king f3, bishop f8 first. Bishop f8, knight f5, and d6. Okay, okay, okay. Uh huh. Yeah, looks very interesting. <laughs> so somehow can white can bring his knight somewhere? Maybe b7. B7 will be excellent square. A5 and c5 we are attacking. But even if yeah, it's... no, 
no, no, no, no. I don't see any, 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 any chance to win else. And they agreed for draw. So it's really interesting. And what, uh, something else? No, nothing else. Nothing else. Other games is finished. Okay, let's we'll make some small break. Coffee, uh, coffee break. <laughs> we'll make some small pause, and we will continue after a few minutes. Don't leave us. Everything, <laughs> all games is going now and very interesting. So let's we'll follow it. Um, see you a bit later.
Hello again, I'm Grandmaster Farouk Amanatov and AIDS round is started already. I'm watching uh, boys category under 16 uh, and a uh, very interesting situation right now after seven rounds. Uh, three players sharing first place, uh, Baba, Zada, Baba Zada Hazar, Valadar Murzin and Aryan Varshni. Four and a half points, three of them, uh, they have three... Uh, four and a half points and uh pranav we four points out seven so very interesting tournament and uh let's check uh of uh, this category first Vladar murzin by white against pranav we uh e4 e5 knight of three knight c6 bishop b5 a6 yes 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 Rui lopez bishop c5 c3 d6 d4 b6 and the valadar is thinking right now so it's still it's theoretical position a4 is the main move in this position so honestly a lot of interesting ways here so rookie one even we can play even knight bd2 we can play sacrifice upon so bishop g5 move uh just trying to decide which 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 uh move he can make in this position before he me uh he's thinking we can check uh one more uh very important game varshni aryan against babaza the hazard both of them is leaders uh four and a half points out seven and aryan varshni played d4 d4 uh knight f6 c4 g6 knight c3 bishop g7 king's indian uh very rare people playing in this tournament this line so it will be interesting i think e4 d6 knight f3 castles bishop e2 knight a6 okay short castle and now uh and now and now Okay, Hazar is thinking. <laughs> no move now. <laughs> okay, so e5 is the main line, and it's big theory. So let's uh, let's uh, will wait some few seconds. He will make a move or not? Uh no moves. Okay, and let's check uh sword game. The Silva against uh Samado Friad. The Silva playing really very bad in this um competition only half points so okay maybe maybe he's in a bad form uh let's check on the first moves knight of three knight of six c4 e6 knight c3 d5 capture capture d bishop b4 red line bishop g5 castles e3 h6 bishop h4 bishop f5 riad played bishop d3 takes takes and c6 and after that uh riad played short castle and now uh the silva trying to make a uh, move uh and he played bishop e7 like this wow why not knight bd7 no idea no idea uh oh sorry sorry um riyad riyad played um bishop e7 now and okay just typical plan in this position of course to push pawns on the queen side like rook b1 b4 a4 like this and the silva and the silva played a3 um not sure honestly about a3 in my opinion better to start rook b1 or bishop f6 immediately like this and b4 directly it's also possible but okay uh the silva played a3 a riad move and he's thinking so let's once again check uh valadar against prana of valadar uh decided to play bishop e3 okay bishop g4 knight bd2 short castle and he took on e5 so he decided to simplification <laughs> so why not d takes e5 and i think it's some small but surprise for pranav we because he's thinking how to take bishop e3 or d takes e5 or knight takes e5 let's 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 uh we'll think together with him so uh knight takes e5 not so great in my opinion because after bishop takes b6 pawn takes b6 uh we create weakness in black position pawn on d6 is a bit weakness so bishop takes e3 uh logical but after ef thinks 
bishop is hanging and for example if bishop living somewhere bishop b6 or bishop a7 white can take on g7 first king g7 and then we can play bishop d3 we're making pin and then also looks well for white so bishop e3 not so great so we're waiting only d takes e5 so i think uh pranav we will take on e5 let's check and uh yes he took on e5 baladar took on b6 bishop takes b6 cb6 and now on a board so i guess i guess he will push his pawn on h3 to get some tempo but maybe maybe not maybe not he will play like this because after uh black have a possibility to f3 queen f3 is not so great because a d2 a knight is hanging so probably knight f3 and after that takes takes and uh transposing in this end game maybe slightly better for white but nothing special in my opinion uh and black can play simply rook d8 for example rook d8 and i not see something um, something special for white in this position so it's one possibility and second possibility in my opinion just simply leave queen from d1 somewhere or queen queen e2 or queen c2 something like this and only after that to play h3 and keep queens on a board so it's also a uh, way for white let's uh let's wait like uh, oh no 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 move uh from waladar he's still thinking and what about baba zada hazard and uh, baba zada hazard got this position and how it's happened uh can we check knight a6 aryan version he played castle bishop g4 oh like this mm, can't say that it's so great idea but okay bishop e3 and he took on f3 immediately knight d7 bishop e2 c5 very aggressive so he's showing that he want to fight d5 knight c7 queen d2 a6 so uh position transpose in some kind of um benoni pawn structure but with pawn on e7 without e6 and ed5 okay a4 so looks logical for Ariane to prevent any black counterway on the queen side rook b8 anyway black planning to push his pawn on b5 but now it's not possible and simply Ariane played rook a d1 rook a d1 rook a d1 rook a d1 so rook a d1 but why rook a d1 um maybe simply f4 and start to preparing e5 and something like this but rook a d1 maybe he was worried about e6 let's say let's will make some move let's say even f4 for example e6 take take and black can sacrifice his pawn on d6 but but uh he getting really very good counter attack like this cd4 knight d4 looks well but maybe nothing special yeah maybe it's not so dangerous for white simply pawn up right so but okay of course maybe rook d1 maybe some kind of necessarily but not sure honestly but okay <laughs> he played uh let's check uh what was then e8 wow knight e8 babaz hazard played like this so what's the idea idea may be to push pawn on e6 one of idea and like this he's saving d6 pawn knight e8 saving d6 pawn it's one option second option may be knight on f6 but looks uh, not so great in my opinion and one more option maybe he planning to improve his queen from d8 he planning to play maybe queen a5 queen queen yeah queen a5 maybe okay so Ariane understanding these things and he played bishop g4 
So bishop g4 preventing e6, first of all, preventing queen a5. I can understand it. But after knight e5, what you will do, <laughs> you need to go back only, right? Bishop e2, yes, and it was in the game. And now, Babaza da Hazar played queen b6. Wow. Wow. What can I say? <laughs> very, very, very aggressive. So he can repeat once position, let's say, nay d7, like this. And look what uh, Aryan want to do. But he is not care about repetition. He deciding to play queen b6. Very nice. I like it. It's really showing me fight spirit. <laughs> of uh, Babaza da Hazar. Okay, perfect. So f4 probably he will play. Yes, he did it. Knight d7. And now white to move. White to move. And uh, so let's see. Uh, let's think first of what's uh, black next move. Probably queen b3 or queen b4. Uh huh. Okay. And okay, somehow these star white uh, pieces and pawns on the queen side. So looks logically to play queen c2. Queen c2. And if black will play something like queen b4, we can play simply bishop d2, right? With a simple, okay, maybe not directly, but with some ideas to play knight b5. Or first b3, and after that knight b5. And like this, we uh, can trap his queen. So queen c2 looks absolutely normal for myself. Mm -hmm. And I'm planning to play b3 to support my pawns, to make my pawn on the light square, pawn, uh, light square, and the black bishop will be nothing on this long diagonal, right? Okay, let's we'll wait. And uh, third game, let's check quickly. Uh, game against uh, De Silva with Samad of Riyadh. And right now, this position, last white move was rook a e1, and white offered draw. De Silva not confident in his position, and he offered draw. Yes, I can understand him, but uh, also just want to say respect was for him. He's going really very bad. Only half points out of seven games, but still he is coming and fighting. My big respect for you, uh, De Silva. Uh, okay, uh, Ariad is thinking, and I think he will decline. He will decline and will play in this game. What's the reason to 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 fix draw very often? A uh, very 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 easy in this position. No, no reason. And let's check goals. Uh, section under sixteen. It's also a very interesting situation because three goals uh, is the leaders. It's uh, Ksenia Balabaeva, and we will check first her game. Uh, Ksenia Balabaeva, Nguyen Hong, and Kamali Denva Meru Ert. Two goals in leader group from Kazakhstan. Very, very, very uh, nice uh, group. And uh, I know uh, Meru Ert, Kamali Denva, she is... Um, She's a world champion. I, I not remember exactly, honestly, under 14 or under 16. Probably under 14 last year. So let's check. Let's check. Uh, Shubenko Veronica playing against Balabaeva Ksenia. And right now this position on a board. So last white move was Bishop D2. Was Bishop D2. And now Ksenia is sinking. So... Looks like, looks like, well, position for black. Why I'm thinking that she, her position is well, because I see <laughs> out post square on e4 for knight, and it looks really very well square. So, 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 okay. Uh, knight e4, yes, on a board. She attacking bishop. So Veronica is thinking now, and she's trying to decide what to do. Bishop e1, but bishop on e1 not doing something, or bishop b4. Bishop b4 looks more logical um, to trade the dark score bishop. 
but after queen b6 black forcing ah no no sorry 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 queen b6 not so good i thought that uh black can trade the queens and after that okay comfortable playing this end game but it's not like this because pawn on a7 suddenly will be hanging and rook on a1 is useful right now so queen b6 is not so great but what black can do now okay she can take on b4 first if uh if she want to play end game takes takes and after that uh maybe queen b6 even like this queen b6 some making bad pawn structure but uh but but uh with king on e8 it's a bit risky to keep queens on a board i think what else she can do what else what else Okay, no, I don't know what she can do. <laughs> Let's will check uh, how white played first. Uh, oh, no, sorry. No move. No move yet, and still she's thinking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And about what she's thinking right now, I don't see any other possibilities, only bishop b4. But okay, Veronica is thinking, and let's check... Uh, third game uh, oh no sorry se second game uh kamali denova meruert against nguyen hong nguyen hong uh, is white and very sharp position and looks really very interesting wait 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 last black move was queen d7 queen was on c8 and uh, meruert played queen d7 attacking white knight on d4 um what to say how to play what to say how to play okay the knight is hanging no reason to touch him because black will trade the queens and of course it will be big 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 progress for black we saw we king uh to trade the queens it's really very good for them so if we will think like this so then no no any choice we need to play c3 right because even rook d1 for example rook fd1 or rook bd1 black immediately can trade the queens and after that um it's it will be a bit easy to play and then knight c6 maybe short castle and okay playing this position so it's not so bad as before so if the rook f4 i don't want to play because some some e5 is coming and i need to calculate so many moves so c3 looks absolutely natural for myself uh let's check how nguyen played okay no still 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 she's thinking let's check timings uh hong uh, nguyen is 16 minutes and the meruert is 21 minutes okay 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 hmm. looks like a really very well positioned for um for 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 white here okay and the uh, sword game uh we are still thinking let's check uh wu bui tsi tang against sim jiaru uh these girls are not in a leader group but maybe only for now let's check uh wu Wu is white and sim is black and now and now and now a uh, white to move looks like rook on a2 bit strange <laughs> and uh i want to see how 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 he reached there d4 d5 knight of three c5 takes e6 a3 bishop c5 b4 queen f6 wow like this <laughs> like this uh white played bishop, rook a2 bishop b6 bishop b2 tempting move of course queen g6 knight e5 one more tempting move queen f5 okay i see that <laughs> threatening on f2 but looks a bit strange no uh knight f6 bishop d3 queen g5 castle knight bd7 knight f3 again attacking queen queen h6 and knight bd2 now short castle so uh white to move now and uh white white is thinking what to do now so it looks absolutely natural to push pawn on c4 mm. 
start to attack central point. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I got idea. So why I'm I'm just thinking why 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 the spending time and not pushing pawn on c4. And now I understood that she's worried about bishop take e3 like this. Suddenly black can take on e3 uh, because after f e3 queen h queen e3 check king h1 and queen takes d3. Black is fine. Looks okay okay so 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 uh what we can do okay we can prepare it no we can play simply queen e2 any white black move and after that i can push my pawn on uh c4 so looks absolutely natural move for myself yeah 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 okay let's we'll wait some few seconds some few seconds we can check yeah okay no moves let's 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 again uh we'll just shoot Benkova veronica against balabai vaxenia and no queens on the board of course it's good for black with king in the center of course we're trying to trade the queens immediately and it's so it's happened so easy i don't understand how let's quickly check how it's happened so um after knight e4, Veronica played bishop c3, Xenia played bishop e7, and Veronica simply took on d5. Not sure. Not sure. Takes, takes, and now it's absolutely comfortable endgame for black. Knight on e4, so great outpost square. Looks like white knight on e5 also, but any time i can play rook g8 and f6 and i will remove this strong knight from e5 and if we will check then bishops black bishop is much better because bishop on c3 not doing something so for this reason i thought that she will play bishop b4 in this moment instead of bishop c3 bishop b4 but okay so our uh, critical position right now uh, is rook fc1 last white move and um and then then uh, balabai vaxeni is thinking and she played rook g8 yes 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 simply she following um this typical idea rook g8 and f6 uh and uh, veronica played knight d3 immediately knight d3 immediately so what's idea idea maybe to play knight f2 and somehow to trade so strong knight on e4 so black can play bishop d6 so king d7 and slowly improving position even after knight f2 even after knight f2 even after trades and knights anyway our black position will be slightly but better because bishop is better than uh i mean black bishop is better than white bishop so i think slightly but better position for black and what about meruert a game oh wait 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 what happenings here so let's 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 check it looks very interesting uh let's go back um so we stop watching yeah in this moment queen d7 and guyen thought long time and played queen f4 wow even <laughs> i thought only about c3 honestly but she find other way queen f4 uh-huh queen f4 queen f4 so i see knight is hanging short castle not possible immediately because queen g4 check and queen g7 checkmate okay so how to save a knight how to save a knight uh give me a second give me give me a second give me a second bishop d6 knight c6 queen d6 three moves three moves three moves three moves okay for me nature looks absolutely queen d6 Merward made this move and uh, suddenly black took on e6 wow wow knight takes e6 so nice okay queen e6 immediately losing after queen b8 pawn takes e6 looks natural and now and now rook 
PD1. Wow. It's fantastic. It's so nice. So nice. Rook BD1. Awesome. Awesome. No any other words. Queen takes f4 and her idea to play bishop h5 check. King d f8 and rook d8 checkmate. Wow. This young generation so strong. I can't imagine. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's really very brilliant. Knight takes e6 and rook bd1. So cool. So cool. Let's check. Uh, how was then? Uh, Meruert, Meruert played e5. But anyway, rook d6 is coming, no? Rook d6, pawn takes, and bishop h5 checkmating. <gasps> fantastic, fantastic. So good. Okay, but she, <laughs> she made check directly. Okay, of course, anyway, it's winning. King of 8 not possible because queen, rook takes d6 is coming. So Meruel played king d7. And after rook d6, position is totally losing. Even even I prefer can take uh, take on e5. It's also <laughs> one, uh, one extra pawn. <laughs> but of course, any, any move is winning. Uh, rook d6, bishop d6, check. And uh, maybe Queen G7 killing immediately, right? Or, or not? Or not? Not? Not directly. But of course, position is totally winning. Wow! Wow! I'm really enjoying. It's awesome. Awesome idea. Knight takes E6. Wow! So nice. So Queen C4 check. Uh, Bishop C5. And now. Now Nguyen is thinking, but okay, any move is fine. Bishop f3, king d6, queen d5 check, and we're winning bishop, and directly even rook on a7. Yeah, that's so good, so good. Okay, uh, what about what about Xenia, uh, Xenia position? So after knight d3, Xenia simply played king d7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even knight e5, she improving her king, king going on e6. And of course, um, it's it's good, it's good for black. And what about uh, Wu against Sim? So she played rook e1, rook e1, rook e1. Okay, same idea, same idea. What I want to play, <laughs> but I I thought to keep my queen on e2. Okay, why not? Maybe even like this. So slightly, slightly white is better. Let's let's uh, check uh boys boys games, and uh, Valadar Murzin against against Pranavui. Uh, we stop watching uh in this moment after CB6 and Valadar played queen e2. Okay, my recommendation is working. Uh, his opponent played knight a5, and now h3. Okay, uh, bishop f3, knight f3, knight b3, a b3, queen e7. Queen e7, we need to save pawn on e5. Rook fd1 looks absolutely natural move. Rook f e8. Uh, why not? Why not? Same rook fd8. Uh, white can take on d8 and after that white winning one of the pawn on a6 if black will take by rook over on e5 if black will take by queen so for this reason pranav played rook f8 simply saving his pawn on e5 uh what then b4 okay valadar fixing a uh, weakness in black position on a6 queen b7 like this Okay, Pranav playing really very well. Uh, supporting pawn, pawn on a6 is saved and attacking our pawn on e4. Perfect. Okay, so uh, rook e1, rook e1, Valadar saved his pawn like this. Uh, rook e1, rook e1, rook e1. Rookie one. Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. 
in my opinion rook on e1 will be really very passive maybe we need to search some 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 something else maybe knight d2 and f3 maybe knight d2 save pawn like f3 and after that knight f1 knight e3 something like this because the rook on e1 not sure that it's good okay queen c6 so pranav simply trying to improve his pawns pawn on a6 is a weakness and he planning to push pawn on a5 rook d1 a5 and now and now and now queen d3 he played oh queen d3 queen d3 very optimistic move no in my opinion we need to take on a5 first queen d3 okay what was then uh take take and queen c4 queen c4 queen c4 if i will take on c4 black of course improving his pawns but can i win some material immediately rook d6 b5 right rook b6 and he can go on a2 and attacking my b pawn aha uh -huh. i see i see i see okay just just i'm checking some force moves maybe i'm getting i can get something of course we need to save queen queen d6 or but no choice queen d6 i think we need to play queen d6 sorry uh valadar played queen d6 yes so and now knight takes e4 queen takes b6 yeah it's okay it looks 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 equal position uh so i'm thinking about knight takes e4 queen takes b6 mm. queen b4 for example and okay we can start to attack his pawns also right like 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 rook d5 e5 b5 is hanging so looks looks absolutely equal okay okay and what about uh these young gentlemen oh they draw come on <laughs> oh Ariane, Ariane, so respecting your opponent so your position is so good no just play if you want to win a tournament you cannot to win a tournament like this by white color you playing against your concurrent not sure my young friend not sure yes of course maybe it's your strategy against strong opponents uh to play solid and against weak opponents play aggressive but anyway at least no draw is a normal result in my opinion absolutely normal result but 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 when you're fighting not like this in a better position just let's say if it will be equal okay but but okay yeah, okay uh Aryan, Aryan know it better than myself. And uh, let's check. Yes, this gentleman is fighting. So we stop uh, watching in this moment. The silver offer draw to Riyadh. And Riyadh, of course, declined it. He's a big fighter. Um, e4 takes, takes. Uh, rook d8, knight g4, queen g5 so quickly let's check this position knight g5 knight c8 oh knight d6 and knight d7 right now this position right now this position on a board but when knight was on f5 it looks really very scary no h4 i can play knight h6 i can play knight I can play it looks like easily easily winning no <laughs> I don't know okay maybe I'm wrong and I'm I'm really very surprised uh the silver have 19 minutes in this position 19 minutes okay just calculate some variations maybe no it's better to search something what's the reason to bring knight on d7 knight on d6 your knight on f5 so strong maybe just uh let's let's will check some 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 combinations here knight g7 uh king g7 knight f6 and no stress queen h7 knight g5 staying 
Okay, we can start from h4. If knight e6, then we can take on h6. Okay, h4, rook takes d5 is only move, I think. Rook d5, queen d5, knight, uh, knight, 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 e6, and uh, knight h6, take check. Maybe it's walking also. h4. H4. If knight e6, of course, it's very simple. We're capturing on h6. Pawn takes, knight f6, check, any king move, and checkmate. So it's very simple. Yes. Uh, what about what about uh, rook d5? And it's critical. A move. Capture. Capture. So knight e6. And I calculated this option. Check. Take. Uh, check. King seven, rook e four. Ah, uh, sorry, e four. Simply, I'm threatening to checkmate. Uh, oh, I miss something. I miss something. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's check extra check he have. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It must be something there. Uh, it must be something there. Maybe I can start from queen e4. Oh, okay, he will play king g7. <laughs> okay, I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong and no no winning immediately. Okay, okay. So maybe the silver, you are right. Maybe you are right. And okay, he played knight. Oh, sorry. Let's check how was in the game. Yeah, right now. And it's draw now. Come on. <laughs> okay, I can understand Riyadh. In my opinion, his position not so great. So he 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 offering draw. But the silver, what's the reason to offer? Uh to accept draw. Okay, okay, never mind. So two games is draw, very solid tournament, uh, very solid competition for them, and uh, Valadar playing against Pranav. Uh-huh. This uh, this gentleman's fighting. No draw. They think I will fight. No any other possibilities. So queen d6 will look. Uh, queen d6, rook e6. Uh, queen d2. Mm -hmm. H6, rook c1. Rook e3. And now... And now wait to move, right? Okay, okay, okay. So queen on a2 looks really very strange. <laughs> but of course, okay, it was an only move because after rook e3, no any other move. Queen a4 is uh, losing immediately. Uh, suddenly, uh, white uh, trapping his queen. So queen a2, and now, and now, and now we need to improve our position. Or we need to attack weaknesses, or we need to improve our pieces. So let's check. So which weaknesses in black position? B6 and B5 pawns. How we can attack them? How we can attack them? So we can play queen e2. Queen e2 simply attacking pawn on b5. But it's not a threat, because when we will take on b5, he will take on b2. Nothing special. Nothing special, yes. So, what else? What else? What else? So, nothing else. Nothing else. So, then we need to improve pieces, uh, which our piece is not doing something. Rook on e3 saving pawn. Rook on c1 on the open file. It's uh it's always must be well. Queen on also on open file and supporting our pawns b4 and b2. So knight, knight attacking pawn on e5 also looks well. So maybe maybe we can like we can make uh, one step up, you know, like uh, G3, King G2. When you don't know, uh, I will give you one secret. If you when you I mean during the game. Uh, don't know how to play. You making one step forward. You playing G3, King G2, like this. It's always very useful. <laughs> if you not see something special, yeah. Okay, let's check what Valadar played, and and Valadar know what 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 he can do. <laughs> oh, so nice. I like it. I miss this possibility, honestly. 
so we can we can if we will bring our knight on a five it always will be fine especially when our rook on the sword rank immediately rook knight f5 rook g3 g7 h6 our weaknesses wow it's a nice move i i i'm really i'm really enjoying how i missed it how i missed it <laughs> okay shame on me shame on me okay Okay, what to do? G6, I think we need to play, right? G6, as a way, knight on f5, really very strong. And what now? Rook, 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 G3 is not so great. E4 is hanging. Mm. But what we can do? Mm. I don't see something special. Okay, oh no, oh no. Pranav, we played rook e8? Rook e8, he played simply. Oh, he's so brave, so brave. My young friend, wait, you will lose. Okay, knight of five, Valadar will play for sure. He's still thinking. And after that, okay, some checkmates is coming and everything is coming, no? Oh, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Okay, let's check. Valadar played... <laughs> Valadar played rook g3. Like this. Oh, wow. Wow. So nice. This category players playing really very very fresh and, and tasty chess you know like do you remember a uh, game uh against a vietnam chess player i mean it was kamali denova miruet where she sacrificed her queen and same i think valadar planning to to play like this check check king somewhere check on h6 king f5 and g4 checkmate so nice so nice perfect <laughs> let's see maybe it will happen in the game okay no prana for sure we'll find it but but looks really very nice rook g3 so 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 nice move and also okay just simply simply we have a threat like rook g7 king g7 knight f5 it's the first option second option queen takes h6 and third option knight f5 perfect perfect i'm enjoying really so nice okay what to do what to do what to do knight h5 maybe knight h5 uh yeah knight h5 and even after rook g7 he will take by knight yeah it's possible yes it's happened uh knight h5 rook g4 and now okay again again if black will play knight f6 and again we can take on uh a g7 knight f5 look so 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 strong knight on f5 and so powerful yeah but of course okay just if pranav saw this option so like he never will play he never will play knight of six but how he will play pawn is hanging so probably king h7 are uh, no king h7 again i can play knight of five and again i'm threatening to take on g7 or oh, maybe it's not dangerous rookie six he play rookie six saving on g7 saying on h6 yeah it's possible yeah maybe it's not dangerous okay but but it's so so from so simple position now we're going in so very so so sharp position <laughs> directly okay so pranav is thinking okay let's check girls uh games girls games uh balabaeva xenia one of the leader of tournament against shubenkova veronica and uh, and 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 uh, and position looks a bit equal no when knight was on e4 it was really very good and now now i'm not sure what, what knight doing on a3 who can tell me who can tell me who can tell me who can tell me oh and in this moment veronica offered draw Okay, and Balabai Vaxenia is uh, thinking, so she trying to decide what to do, accept draw or 
still still try to win. Anyway, black slightly better. Not sure that it's, uh, it will be enough enough to win a game, but 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 no, I think it's equal now. No, not sure, not sure. I think um, I think I think it's uh, will be draw. And what about a third game? Uh, a Wu against Sim, and we stop watching after Rook one. Okay. Uh, Sim played rook d8 immediately, and h3 who played. So many preparation moves. Okay, you played Wu, you played rook e1. Rook e what was the reason to play rook e1 if you're not planning to push your opponent? See for just do it, press your opponent. h3, not sure, not sure. Knight of fate. Queen a1, bishop d7, knight f1, like this. Finally, she pushed her pawn. Knight g5, capture, capture, c5, bishop c7, and rook. Oh, bishop c1. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, anyway, maybe slightly white is better. We have good pawn structure on the queen side. Uh, okay, something like e4, some threats. In a practical game, I think it's uh, slightly but better for white. Not sure that it will be enough to make some problems but 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 i like white position honestly okay sim gru is thinking uh, what about uh xenia oh xenia declined draw and uh trying trying to play trying to fight so nice so nice so position like this almost 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 symmetrical but <laughs> double pawns in black position and e3 weakness in a white position so and how we want to win in this position xenia so you can keep your knight on e4 i'm agree you can improve your king to keep him on d6 i'm agree and after that uh, after that, after that, maybe, maybe g5. I oh, know g5 is too much because because white can take on g5 and after fg5, fg5, white can occupate e5 square by the knight outpost square. So okay, okay, okay. Maybe maybe it's not so bad for white now. Uh, and uh, what 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 about our gentlemen? Especially Valadar Murzin against Pranav. We are uh, right now with this position. So last black move was Knight F4. Knight F4. Knight F4. So Knight F4. Why? Can I play Knight F5? Who can tell me? Can I call some top GM and calculate with him? <laughs> uh, G6, knight, H6, at least I'm winning pawn, right? Rook D8, Rook D8 maybe, but it's too much. Rook G7 I have, right? I don't understand what, what his idea. But no knight G6, no? Knight G6, it's too much. H4, H5 always is coming. No, I can't believe. I can't believe Pranav. We played Knight of Four. Very strange move. Very strange move. Okay, let's check. Well, okay, yes, yes, yes. And Pranav played Knight G6. Okay, so Valadar. Now, okay, we can push pawn on H4 simply, no? h4 h5 is coming if black will play h5 at least always we have rook g5 or even rook g3 and then queen g5 take on h5 and it's too much no it's too much 
I'm really very surprised. Yes, of course, he can win a tempo like rook d8 or rook e d8. I don't know. Never mind. Okay. Let's say rook d8. Uh, queen, 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 queen c2, queen e2. Okay, queen e2, I can play. What's the problem? What's the problem? Hmm. I'm really very surprised. Very surprised. Maybe, maybe, maybe for this reason, Pranav, we in a bad form. But okay, he's not so bad form, but he's not in a leader group in this category. But I know he's really very, very, very strong blitz player. Even by secret, I will tell you, I played against him in chess.com. I played blitz. <laughs> and I can't say that I won. <laughs> so let's check. Uh, well, other move. He's thinking. Oh no, he made move. Valadar, hello, my friend. Yes, yes. Listen myself. <laughs> Listen myself. Okay, H5 is coming. So what to do? What to do? What to do? Uh, for me, it looks absolutely losing position. Maybe some tactically, and Jan can save this position, but from human vision, in my opinion, position is really very 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 tough very very tough hmm, no idea even no idea how to play <laughs> yeah Very, very interesting. Okay, uh, what about other games? Girls, uh, girls still playing. Xenia played the rook b8. Okay, ah, oh, wait, position was like this, and okay, last white move was knight c5. So Xenia only chance to push her pawn on b5, but after b5, c5 square so weak, weak, and um. Even after that, I not will be sure that black is better. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it must be. It must be draw. I mean, equal at least position. Okay. So as the games is over already, Ngu Yen Hong won so nice, brilliant game. Uh, oh wait, wait. How? Wu against him, they playing still. Uh huh. So bishop c6, last black move. Bishop c6, last black move. <laughs> so, question between. Between two moves, in my opinion, or we pushing pawn on e5, blocking his dark square bishop, opening our light square bishop. It's a first option, and looks absolutely well because after e5, first of all, I'm making worse you open and pieces. Second, I'm planning to play bishop g5. For example, if you will push d4 i will play bishop g5 attacking queen after f6 i can take on g6 now or a bit later take take yeah now now and after that capture and after that queen takes g6 and i'm winning material with easily winning position so what else? If black will try to save it somehow, but how? Bishop g5 is coming. Queen d7, for example. And can I take on g6? Like this? For example, like this. And I will keep my knight on d4. Just look at this position. My knight on our four square. Controlling full board. And two bishops of black. Looks really very funny, no? <laughs> of course, white is really very well. Even even maybe it was better to to gain a tempo. Of course, bishop g five. Of course, black need to sacrifice his pawn. But just generally, I'm saying rook e eight and like this. Wow, wow, wow! It's not position. It's a dream, dream. <laughs> okay.
Okay, let's check what was then uh, in the girls' game. Wait, 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 what happened? After e5, rook f8. Rook f8? And what? And what? Bishop g5, let's say. Queen somewhere. Maybe like this. But anyway, white position is really very well here, no? Looks absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's quickly check uh, how was the game. So, um, white, white played bishop b2. I don't understand why. Come on, woo. You're blocking your rook. Your rook only eight to sting. What's the reason? You're giving chance for open to jump on a four by knight. No reason. No reason. Uh, D4. Sim Jaru playing absolutely correct. Oh, um, she's ready to sacrifice material but activate her pieces. Yes, yes. And now queen G5. Perfect. Perfect. Now black, absolutely fine. E5 is hanging. G2, knight f4, knight h4. Hmm, I don't understand who, who moves. So I think oh, white is absolutely uh, in big, 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 big danger. So uh, bishop e4. Uh huh. And she took. Why? Why? Tell me why, tell me why. But why? What's the reason? When we're capturing force, we're simply improving open end pieces, no? Maybe queen e5, maybe rook d, something like this. But okay. Uh, take, take, and now uh, bishop takes e5. Bishop takes e5. <laughs> come on, come on, ladies. Sim Jaru, come on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You simply missed your bishop. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, come on. Okay, a uh, five, but okay, any move is fine, right? Even queen takes e5 is fine. Oh. Okay, I think it will be over soon. Uh, what happenings in a girls' game? Wait, 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 wait. How they trade the knights? Uh, okay, uh, rook b7. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, Check like this. So white can play rook g8, right? And now white trying to win. A... <laughs> oh, Balabai Vaxena, you're so aggressive. Come on. In equal position. So what's the reason? Like, it's not last round, right? When we're playing, when we're fighting for first place only. It's only eighth round, two more rounds. And uh, your standing is absolutely correct. And well, what's the reason to play like this? In my opinion, a bit risky. Okay, let's say I will play Rook G8. And what's what Rook C7? Seven or okay, I can capture. Yes, you can make a check. Okay, never mind. King somewhere e1, f1 probably. Pawn is hanging on f6. King e6 probably, right? So mm, so bit complex, but I don't know. I'm feeling that it's oh uh, can be risky only. Only, only for black, no? Okay, even like this right now. Pawn is hanging. Ah, okay, I can make a checks, 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 and an e3 attacking pawn. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, even even this position is true. Nothing special. Yes, 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 and uh, ladies, ladies uh, agreed for draw. But, but, respect for Xenia, honestly. Respect. Yes, I said maybe that 
you played really very risky, but you controlled honestly your game and uh, with this fighting spirit, I think you have really very good chances to show the best result in this tournament. Okay, so Veronica, so you saved very well. Uh, and what about uh, Wu? Check mate on a board and look which kind of the mate. <laughs> Let's check quickly. So f5, mate, uh, sorry, queen c4, queen f4, check, take, bishop b2, knight e5, and yeah. I think uh, Sim uh, wanted to see this checkmate she wanted to see this checkmate <laughs> first time okay maybe okay maybe one of the first time when i see this checkmate or on a board yes of course it's online but anyway it's really very nice <laughs> okay okay so what about valadar game Valadar against Pranafi. We stop watching after knight f4, knight f5, knight g6, h4. Five, uh, Pranafi played rook g5, rook d8, queen e3, not queen e2. Oh, queen e2, knight f4 is coming. Okay, agree, agree. Queen b2. Valadar attacking really very hard. Rook c7. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. I any counterattack? Rook d1, queen b1. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, give me, 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 give me. Calculated some variations. Check. There, there. Rook g6. Uh, rook h1. It's only one check, right? It's not a mate. King g3. Okay, okay, okay. What about check and rook d3 first? To provoke him to play something like we need to. Oh no, maybe even he will ignore it. Okay. Uh, look what I calculated. Check. King h2, rook d3, for example, right? Looks like a bit active. And white can sacrifice on e. Rook so takes e3, check. King is not possible because checkmate directly king h8 is the only move and simply rook f7 i don't know which one rook okay rook, let's say like this rook h7 or knight h6 is coming for example like this like this. wow <laughs> so rook c7 valadar played let's continue Oh, he won already, but okay. Anyway, I want to see. Rook e6, king h2 he played, queen a1, and he took pawn simply. Queen d1, knight g7. Wait, what about king g7, queen h6 mating? Okay, let's say I will show you. Uh, king f6 is simply checkmate on a board immediately. If king g8... Queen h7 check and queen f7 checkmate is coming. Like this. Yes, so uh, rook knight g7. Uh, Pranav played uh, knight f4. And what then? Knight takes e6. Check. But even I can take on d8, right? Ah, some check and queen d8. Maybe he was worried about it. So he decided to make it first king h8 and oh <laughs> I, I i'm still waiting that uh he will take on d8 but he made his open checkmate congratulations for that very good game it looks like it was equal but knight h5 uh, knight h4 especially your move i really uh was excited and impressed Knight h4, rook g3, a special rook g3 with idea to take on g7, knight f5. So nice. Okay, congrats to Valadar Pranav. We 
Knight H5 is okay, but G6. What? Why you played rook e8? What's the reason to give chance for white to bring knight on f5? Mm, not sure. Okay, so good, so good. So let's check some running games. Uh, if some, 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 some playing uh, some games there. Okay. Oh, Beduliva Gohar, as we know, uh, she's leader, and she playing against Singi. Against Singih and Beidulaiva Gohar is pieced down right now. Oh, but four extra pawns. <laughs> so, yeah, position is easily winning. But, but uh, in first second, I was, uh, I was a bit worried about her pieces. Okay, so let's check. Um, Queen F6, D5 is hanging. Check and uh, uh, Singi played King C8 and H6 is coming. Yep, no, any sacrificing or something. Yeah, I think it's over. It's over. Uh, so played Rook C1, but. Stage seven, I think she will resign. No chance. No chance. Okay, 18, 23 seconds only. Yeah, and uh, Gohar pushed her pawn on h7. Yeah, so I think it's over. It's over. It's over. No, she took on d1. So, for... uh huh. Queen C1. Oh, but <laughs> I I always love positions uh, where where on a board three queens, <laughs> three queens on a board. <laughs> so it's very rare, but sometimes it's happenings. Yes, and okay, just play Queen A1, supporting Bishop and trying to trade the queens. <laughs> so Queen D4 she played. Uh, Bishop B6. Check on g7. Yeah, I think it's very easy to play when you have uh, two queens on a board, you know, like <laughs> it's really, really very nice. Okay, so no reason to check oh, this position, it's over almost. Uh, Nurgaliva Zarina playing against against Merkulo Victoria, and Zarina is black and she's peace up. She is peace up. Okay, okay. So she need to trade the queens simply. She needs to, tra to trade the queens and queen h queen h seven. I can play queen h seven, queen h seven, queen h seven. Any check? I will play queen g six or queen g seven. Yes, it happens. <laughs> queen d eight and queen g seven checkmating. No, queen g seven, king of one, queen mate. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, she played queen g6. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, any running games? Some interesting end games, maybe? Okay. 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 Let's check. Let's check. Let's check. Uh, boys under 10. Boys under 10, Vas Eaton against Schneider Elon. As I remember, Vas Eaton is leader and his position is the winning. Yes, I think I think it will be over very, very soon. So I can take on F5, right? Ah, sorry, it's black to move. Oh, so tricky, Elon. So nice. <laughs> so nice. King takes. Okay, King D5, and okay, I can save King E3 simply, right? Three and D2. So Knight F5 and Rook F5. Oh, so good, so good, so good. Making making Zugzwang. King cannot uh, make a move. Knight cannot make a move. Losing pawn. So even you cannot take because after Rook. C5, white winning, 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 uh, knight. So, Ilan played knight d7, and after rook takes f6, position is totally losing, totally losing. So, 
we can stop watching this position. I think it's over. It will be over very, very soon. Uh, any other post? Oh, Deisha Hill against Macridis Dimitrius. Uh, Deisha Hill exchanged down, but, but, but for exchange, he have a knight and two extra pawns and two connecting pawns. Yes, it sounds nice, but, but but open and see pawn. I think, I think, easily winning position. C seven and it's over. No. Black plate knight b five and what c seven if. No, 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 no. Macridis made a check, king f6. C7, capture, capture, and look, the rook up. Oh, notices to do something. Yeah, it must be losing. Okay, and what about, oh. Aldiar, Aldiar, my friend, Aldiar playing against Gurel Idis. And Aldiar is two points up. But, but a Gurel Idis pieces is very active. Gurel pieces is very active. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, rook a6, pawn is hanging on g6. Oh, I'm a bit worried that it's uh, will be easy to win this position. <clears throat> so rook g1 is some kind of only move, right? Uh huh. What then? King f6. A uh, white plate. Uh, any threats? No threats, right? So white black can improve his position. Maybe king h5. King h5 is the idea to play g5, g4. Like this, something. Okay, he played king h5, Aldiar. Uh, rook a2. Can I push my pawn on g5? I want to transpose in simple position. I know this position is easily winning. Check. And g4. Finish. Finish. So, Aldiar need to play like this, I think. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> he played g5. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Uh, no, no, his opponent, his opponent played Nate G6. Nate G6, any threats? No threats, right? So, check. What about King of Four? What's the problem? Yes, he played. <laughs> Oh, he can play rook a3. Look. And he suddenly will push his pawn and checkmate. Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> it's dream, of course, but but uh, some some possibilities like this he have. Okay, let's see. Oh, he played knight g6, king e3, and check like this. Okay. And okay, king d2, I can play simply, no? What's the problem? I can go and attack his rook. And with two connecting pawns, it must be easily winning. But okay, Aldiar played king f2. No, sorry. King f2. Rook check. Then what? King g King g3, not so great because he can take pawn on a, a g5. So, okay. Yes. Yes. So simply king c3, go. Go and attack. His rook, what's the problem? Mm -hmm. Okay, and Grill, it is sinking right now. Sinking. Sinking, 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 sinking. Um, I think it's fine, no? Maybe knight e7. Oh, and and he played immediately knight e7. 
a four not possible bishop is hanging g4 knight f5 wow bishop c2 checking somewhere oh i'm a bit worried that it's not easy as i said why i said that it's not easy <laughs> okay 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 so what about king b2 king rook rook somewhere i don't know where okay never mind where is he going i will push my pawn on f4 what's the problem what is the problem Doo -doo 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 -doo. okay oh <gasps> wow no knight uh, wait how it's happened okay uh wait wait uh, uh bishop c2 attack book a uh, king d2 he played but why why not rook b2 king b2 uh-huh 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 okay so we got final end game <laughs> rook and bishop against versus rook so you know almost in every in every open tournaments in every round this end game is coming and uh, in this event in this special super final tournament i'm i'm seeing first time so finally i got it <laughs> okay so let's check how aldiar will try to win this position okay bishop d3 king e3 yes oh king h6 immediately so black usually trying to cut open and king on the last rank and gurel it is especially going there <laughs> okay check check okay king f6 yes okay rook g7 interesting okay uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay so bishop e4 i think rook d6 he will play it's the best in my opinion easy way to save position to keep rook and king on same same file let's see let's see how uh gurel e this will play no he f7 okay but i cut king no i can make check check and okay king g5 mm -hmm. oh no all the other played simply bishop f5 but uh let's see how he will cut open and king here rook c7 uh so check king e7 planning okay and now try to play bishop e6 like this <laughs> let's see okay he bring rook on rook a6 late like this <laughs> A rook check okay king g5 play no him bishop e oh e4 like this like this uh -oh. Hmm. Aldiar cannot cannot cut open and king yet. Finally, he will do it, but he will spend a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Okay, one last black move and white to move now. So again, he can play something like rook somewhere, rook h7 or something. 
Okay, Gurel is sinking. So it's a tournament under 14. Just want to check how they going. Aldiar and Gurel Idis. Gurel Idis is a leader and Aldiar is leader. Wow, both of them is five out seven. Both of them is leader. Oh, and now I got it. Why, why, why uh, Aldiar trying so hard? He need to win this game. And after that, he will be a lone leader. Six out eight. Oh, very important. <laughs> finally, finally, we uh, see very important uh game 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 okay so now now position is this okay aldiar yes aldiar trying really very 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 hard okay but gurel also gurel also is leader and he need to save his position he need to keep 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 hold this position and then again oh, both of them will be leader five and a half out eight okay very interesting uh-huh so right now like this like this like this for sure rook f6 gurel will play yes he did it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and rook a8 rook a8 again so let's let me check uh when they start to play so it's 101 they started to play this position after knight f5, king g5. Okay, okay. So it was 80s move. Rook takes f5, 80s move. So they played already. Okay, not so much. Only 21 moves. Still, still, they have to play uh, a lot. And even, 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 even. Ah, no, no. Yeah. So some 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 ideas that i heard somewhere that uh, maybe in this end game are uh, not only 50 moves it may be 70 moves but okay maybe maybe i'm wrong so it's fine it's fine so um uh, rook a8 so position right now like this bishop e6 okay correct that's correct move uh white will play rook f6 and now king d5 like this maybe or maybe rook e1 like this so we're trying we're trying we're trying to uh, like to cut his opponent king on the last rank no aldiar played king d5 like this okay rook e1 was slightly better aldiar okay rook h6 now position is like this still he cannot to cut opponent king on the last rank so still you have a chance aldiar 23 moves more you can do something okay what well then check like this like this okay uh gurel gurel it is played rook h4 okay never mind bishop f5 Oh no, not bishop e5. No, not bishop f5, rook e1 check. Why rook e1? What's the reason? Not sure. Not sure. Okay, king d3. Mm -hmm. Now, what, rook e1, why we need to make a check? Come on, Aldir. Uh huh. Come on. So legs like this. Oh, position right now like this. Wait, 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 wait. So how it's happened? Check. King D2. Rook there. Oh, King C3. Okay. Oh, they are making some checks. Some random checks, in my opinion. <laughs> Uh, in my opinion, he not believes that he can win this position. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. I see. Yeah, king d2. Uh, 
URL plate. Okay, now we can cut at least uh, at least uh, we can cut opponent uh, opponent king. Wait. Okay, we bring him on the second rank. Okay, one more rank. We need to cut, and after that, uh, Philidor position will come. <laughs> so position right now like this. Uh, Gurel, Gurel move, and he played rook h8. Okay, so waiting bishop e4. Yes, he did it. Perfect. And let's say any check, we will go king d4. Let's say rook e8, king d4, rook d8, king, bishop, bishop, bishop d5. <clears throat> so 117, they started 80, so 37, 13, min, uh, 13 moves more. You need try, you need try, Aldiar. <laughs> okay. Okay, king f2. King f2, king f2, king f2. King d4 is correct, yes. So, he will keep rook d7, something like this, I think. <clears throat> Two leaders of this category under 14 playing. <laughs> and the last game for today. Okay, rook at shade, rook f3 check. For sure, king e2 will be there. For sure, Aldiar will try to play something like this. Yes, rook g3, rook f8, right? Or oh, rook h2, he played. Rook h2. Okay, bishop e4, Aldiar played. So king d2, or king rook f2, something like this, he will play. No, even now, I can't imagine that Aldiar will win this position. No, not sure. Check. Yeah. King e5, and again rook h4. No, no, no. So four moves, four more moves, and it will be over. Even if White want to lose, he cannot to lose now. I mean, in, uh, I mean, in... yeah, nothing, nothing. Five king e two, so position now. We should be four again. I think. King F2 again will be there. <laughs> okay. This position and two more moves and it's over. Yeah, it was a good game. It was a good game and very interesting. So still still both both of Flash's leader, Gurel Idis and Ansat Aldiar. Yeah. So in this position, they fix the draw. Very good day and so interesting. So tomorrow, two last rounds. I think it's very, very important. You know, you can play not great tournament, but if you playing well in the last rounds, you can say that your tournament is very, very success. Thank you for all of you. Follow us, please, and see you tomorrow. Goodbye.